Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video we will be exploring my oldest world I have. So I went ahead and updated to the newest version, because the 1.18 update, I believe, the one that expanded the world. So I had to go ahead and do that, and it wasn't originally on this list here. I had to go back on my old PS4 and re-download the world, but we got it here, and I made a copy, just in case, you know, we can play it. But we can. I opened the world once today. That's why it has today's day on it as I'm recording this. So yeah, let's hop in and explore one of my oldest worlds that was made almost two years ago. Oh, right. This is my world art I made for Tua's restaurant that he owned. Oh, looks like it got a bit destroyed over there from a creeper. Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. To his pirate pirate ship, McFroggers, I want to say is what he called it. Um, well, this is my mega base over here. Yeah, had a little corporate farm over there. Yeah, hold on. Ugh, okay. So, a bit different from how I remember it. Honestly, this was a very good build. <laughs> I do like this build. Um, let's see, anything else over here? Glow signs, I think it was, I don't even remember what this is called. Trash cans. I think Iona built a lot of these houses. I believe this is Tua's. Yeah, this looks like something Tua would have. Yeah, because Tua had a fishing pool up here. And then this is my base over here. Also, I gotta say, look how much texturing I did back then. <laughs> I was legit better two years ago at texturing than I am now. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. This is like the... Oh yeah, wait, does this still work? Wait, this is not working? Oh no, no, wait, oh, oh, wait. You can say what you want about my redstone. But this is more redstone than I know I do nowadays. <laughs> oh yeah, look, there's the pixel art. You know what? Not even... I would... I, I honestly forgot that you can do that in Minecraft today. You know, this is not bad. This is not bad at all. Were these named? McFroggers? Oh, they were. This is our young flower shop over here. Any dye flowers, yeah. Canopy Cafe. Oh, this is like uh, Yona's Potions Cafe. Wow. Yeah, none of those were finished in tears. That one's not finished. That one's not finished. I believe... I believe everything isn't finished. Like, I never got a chance to finish my base up here. I remember building that wire door, and how annoying it was, and now how I just easily do that. Um, yeah, I had a portal here that led to villagers, which, honestly, I don't know if I would have done that now. Um, this is my gargoyle. Oh, gargoyle! Yeah. Wow. I mean, I had a pretty good view, honestly. Go up here, nothing up here. Yeah, but I have, like, all of this real estate up there to do, like, something. Oh, yeah, I just started collecting pillager raid outpost things. Because I thought they were cool, you know? That's so cool. And then down here was all, like, my industrial stuff, because I had my sheep farm down here. Which actually... Um, produced, uh, quite a lot. 
of wool for me. <laughs> and then... Hmm, I think if I place water here, it won't break anything. I think. Okay. Yeah, okay, it did. Okay, cool. Uh, this is my glow I can farm here. You just get a shear. This had like tons of bone meal in it. And it's just a simple clock in there. This is my sugarcane farm, which produced quite a bit. Yeah, it's all turned into paper because I need it for rockets, I believe. And what's this over here? Oh, that's uh, another little lichen. Okay, it's kind of weird how I put two of them. My bee farm. I do remember my bee farm. Uh, just had a. Oh, yeah, I was making candles because they were like the new thing in the game. Cactus farm used to have one down there, I believe. That's why there's cactus in there. Um, what? I think that's it for like my base, honestly. All right, so here we are on like one of the main highways that's related to the starter base. This was a make a frogger sign. I think that's meant to be an arrow, and I believe that required a notch apple. I think that's how that banner pattern works. Um, let's head over here, because this, I, I, yeah, this had all the armor stands up there. So I got every leather die in the game, and I put them up there because it made, like, a cool, cool thing. Um, that went to Tua's base over there, but I, but I think this takes me back to my starter, so... All right, so we're we're here at the village. Let me just—I believe my base is right over these mountains. I think, yeah, because that's one of the villager base. I believe it's right over here. Yep. Here's here's the second location of McFroggers. I believe there's three in total, and here's my original starter base. And ew, it has birch on it. It's birch on it. What am I doing with myself at this point? Why to say a birch? Oh, look, there's my llamas. Um, why? Why is it a birch? Okay, I would. Oh. Tail house. Yes, tail house. Um, here's a basic tour of it, I guess. Here, I had another sheep farm, a way smaller one. Um, only that. And then here, I had a sugarcane farm, which doesn't produce sugarcane anymore. And I had some copper aging in here, which is, I found out the hard way that this is not how you age copper. Over here is, a, like, a dripstone water farm, which I should have just made it lava. Uh, I think that trapdoor is how I got the sugarcane. But yeah, this space is pretty much looted. Um, and here... Just have some totems. Not really much, but that's my HS. I remember just being extremely rich on the server. Um, basically some loot. I think that was my bedroom, actually. But yeah. Um, I believe that's a way to Iona's base. Um, someone stole my Nether Star. <laughs> I remember having another star there. Now, honestly, this pathway took me, I believe, a whole month to design just to get there. But, yeah. Um, this is my automatic storage system. Which is very scuffed, and I recommend that no one uses it. Just because how, like, bad it was. It only stores, like, max of five items. But, um, it, it's, it's cool. It, it was, uh, there's another, there's, like, a melon farm over there. Um, I forgot I had what I was in the process of converting people to normal villagers. Uh, this is my enchantment room up here. And then over here was where we kept all my llamas, I believe. Yep, it's where I kept all my llamas. Um, this one was my favorite because it looked like Robin or Batman. But, yeah. Alright, so we're at a Yonas base over here. Yeah, 
Here we go. I remember doing this, I believe. Yeah. Because these were attainable during this version, I'm pretty sure. Smog's Dragon over here. Very cool. Very cool. Because she wanted to base it off, like, Lord of the Rings, so she built, like, the whole dragon. And I believe she used the moss here. Wow. This is a pretty... This is actually a pretty cool base. Dragon's pretty sick, actually. I believe she has more, though. Oh, yes. Okay, this is the rest of it. And unfortunately, it doesn't work. Is that Tua's big bin over there? Let's go check that out. Um, pretty sure. Yeah, that's nothing over there. Um, Tua's big bin. Uh, PvP arena that I built. Iona's nether base over here. Over here, because I believe there's one other thing in this direction. That's like Lord of the Rings inspired. Yeah, there's Sauron right there. And another shame, it's not it's not the fully 100% completed Sauron. Uh, this is all decked out in like magma and fire, and looked really cool along with the Sauron eye. And like horses and Unfortunately, it's not here in this version. Let's see, does it bring us back here? It does. Okay, let's... Um... You know what I'm gonna do? Does this glitch still work? Because I remember doing this. Um... Yes, there we go. Okay. And now... Where else? I believe this place is like bombarded by gas a lot. That's why there's fire everywhere. And as long as we follow this trail should lead us directly to Tua's base down here. Tua's base is one of my favorite bases. Uh, I would rank it higher than mine. But I guess you just have to see. Ah yes. Here we go. Oh, they had to make froggers here as well? I completely forgot about that. A little desert well. Now, I believe all of these are, like, from, like, tutorials. Like, that was from a tutorial, I remember. That was from a tutorial. Fire the tutorial. Uh, these are nice, though. I'm pretty sure this is... These, like, stands are awesome. How did I get strength? Where did I get strength from? Is there a beacon nearby? Uh, man, I didn't know beacons reached that far. I don't believe there's anything else besides like the oh, oh wait this is the oh wait is this my progress right here yeah I remember they like tried to style it like after each one like after each biome honestly this one's probably my least favorite I think the other two are a lot cooler but my opinion this is the axolotl sanctuary and as you can see this is where we had our blue axolotls uh, I believe if we go down here, I had a little water so you can see them. But yeah, these are where we kept our blue axolotls, because we actually managed to get those in this version. So look, there he is right there. Yeah, there is. Okay. I remember designing some of this. Like, that was to his, like, throne. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Here's, yeah, I do remember giving them this Glowberry Farm and this villager who trades bread for emeralds. Yeah. Okay, very cool. Our nether portal to the shopping district, which is the very last place on the server that we had. So let's look at, let's get a look at this. Whoa, oh my, my frames died there. I don't even remember this like being that like laggy. Okay, we're good now. Till's great shop. Yes, this is Till's great shop. Take take notes. Oh, that's the aquarium that we talked about earlier. Um. Oh yeah, th that's my favorite make froggers over there. I want to take a look at my shop though first. I, I think I remember we always used to have a phantom in here. Do any of these like tell you the price of stuff? 
five for one stack. Five for thirty-two. That's kind of a ripoff. Ten for thirty. Jeez. One iron for two. Oh wow, we just we should seem like ripoffs. Uh, eighty diamonds. 90 and a block of netherite will be put in. Dang, I bargained so much. Not even gonna lie. Pretty good set here. You get 10 pieces of netherite. Plus, if you're paying 90 diamonds for it. Hmm. Honestly, not even that bad. 20 diamonds for 64? Eh. I mean, that, I mean, I wouldn't, uh, seven for, wait, did I say seven diamonds for five? Wow, my prices were, like, two diamonds for eight emeralds. Oh, is this for llamas? Oh, you can get, oh, I forgot I stole llamas. And I don't know how much these were worth. Uh, what's in here? Oh, I still picked. Oh, it's still 28 diamonds for one disc. Yeah, I need to come down my prices. I, that, that was too much. These are Death Star 3 books. Don't know how much it. 14 diamonds for OP enchants for Death Strider. 14 diamonds. You're. Wow. Fire Aspect 1. 10. 5 diamonds per box by 7. Get 50% off. Now, that's actually my first good deal on here. Shulker boxes, man. Wow. That's my panda. This is where I sold pandas, axolotls, llamas, anything. Uh, pretty sure there used to be a panda like right there. Not sure where he went. Um, to his like resource shop was was cool. I like the design of it, being creeper and all. Um, let's see, I, I want to say there's a black market shop here, I don't know where it is, though, so, okay, let's check out this awesome McFroggers, that's so cool, to our great found, to, wait, to Frogger, our great founder by Till2015, oh, I made that? Oh, that's sick, McFroggers, yo, this is fire, this is fire. Like, not even gonna lie, I've been on this course two years ago. This it, is good. I don't. I didn't even know that was in the game. Oh, that's a good build act, actually. Pick up here. Oh, that's cool. To be honest, cool. That, that, that's that, that's why it's my favorite. Look how cool I, I use the slime there. Oh, uh, that looks great. Now, this shop was very popular because it's good copper and, like, resources. I don't remember how much everything costs, but she had a good amount of copper and amethyst, yeah. I think a lot of my city was built from that shop. <laughs> um, this is the aquarium. I don't even remember half of the animals that were in here. Okay, look, there's a few fish, and there's, uh, that's something. Alright. National Aquarium of Tillcraft, here we go. We have a bar. Yeah, because, because, that needs to be in aquariums. Okay, this actually makes me cringe a bit of how bad this ship is. Oh, it has birds! Oh, I kind of see what I was going with, uh, honestly. For Polar Palace. Okay, what are we going here? Employees only? I'm going to play. I made this, sir. Oh, okay, that's actually fun. Oh, we have a polar bear! Okay, th this exhibit actually kind of makes up for the whole aquarium. Remember when I said I was terrible at redstone? Yeah, I, I mean, I am now, but I, I would not be able to make that now. <laughs> Dolphins? I'm shocked that they haven't died. Not gonna lie. Um, oh, this is like, I think there's like puffer fish in here, no? I remember getting the Elder Guardians were a pain. But I thought there were puffer fish and like other things in there. Oh, wait, what's that? Is that a squid? Oh, yeah, we had glow squid in here. 
Oh, wait, was that like a waterfall? Oh, it's like a waterfall. That's actually kind of sick. It's like tides. Wow, okay. That was actually, that actually um, was a lot cooler than I remembered. And with our tour concluded, that wraps up Tillcraft, my world from two years ago. And wow, it has changed quite a bit since I remember it. But thank you guys for watching my video. And tune in next time to see maybe if I'll restart it. I don't know. Maybe I'll restart this whole Tillcraft thing. And maybe name it something else besides Tillcraft because it just sounds egotistical. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Alright, bye.